a very interesting trading opportunity here on the USD Japan Yen. Watch the video until the end because I'm going to show you all the other opportunities on the forest market. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you what happened on the forest market and what's coming next for the upcoming week. Uh, in other words, I'm going to show you which opportunities we can grab on the forest market especially on the euro usd british pound usd and the usd japan yen before starting subscribe to my channel if we reach the 1000 subscribers there will be a gift for you so it's very important to, to subscribe click on the bell leave a like leave a com comment below feel free to comment my videos don't be shy so yesterday has been a very important day because of the non-farm payrolls. Um, non-farm payrolls below the expectation of 500k, uh, just stopping at 194k. So not very good data from the American economy, even though the unemployment rate fell to 4.8, below the expectations of uh, 5.1. So this entire situation, honestly, doesn't really look good. And in my opinion, and it's just my opinion, the tapering will not start in November. Honestly, the data are not so good and uh, the American economy is not so healthy. So for me, it's not gonna, um, it's not gonna happen, okay? Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know if you think that the, the tapering will uh, start in November or in December, but uh, I don't think so. Uh, why I'm talking about the tapering? Because um, if the tapering happens, okay, the markets, uh, the situation on the markets will be different. So we'll, we'll have different trading opportunities. So let's jump to the Euro USD daily chart. Um, yeah, we are on trading view and um, let's take a look at the last month's. We got a nice downward movement here on this summer and the price just adding to the 117 level then rebounding and retracing and then continuing to go down uh, adding to the 116 okay now in october just broke through this level and then it's approaching the 115. so it looks like a we have a very nice interesting opportunity and uh, if the price is going to approach the 115 and uh, if it's breakthrough so for me it looks like a short if it's breakthrough okay it will uh, head to the 1.12 1 but bear in mind guys always take a look on your left, uh, we have a very important structured zone here at 114, 112. So there will be a little bit of a fight, okay? Price structure, very important price structure. So I'm feeling more comfortable for a short than a then along because even though the price even though if the price okay rebounds here then goes up honestly the euro is weak and uh investors just look for other non-firm payroll data you know to change idea on the us dollar so for me uh, it's more likely to be a short but of course, we are not on the markets uh, to be right uh, to make money. So we will see what will happen on Monday if the price is going to approach the 115 level. Let's jump to the USD Japan Yen. Uh, let's take a look at the weekly chart. So we had a nice rally here and the last candle just went above the previous one, this shooting star. And approach the 112 level and now is adding to the 112.50 level. So 
we will stay on watch okay and uh, we'll see if it's break through this uh, 1250 level uh, bear in mind that on, on our left we got a little bit of noise so if the price break, breaks through this level it's gonna be like a, a buy and hold okay if it's, if it fails it may lateralize okay and there will be a little bit of fight otherwise if it breaks down here the 190 is gonna be very interesting for a short okay so we will uh, pay attention to this action what will happen to the price i'm gonna i'm expecting the price to approach the 1250 level honestly and uh, i'm gonna check if the price would break this level so <laughs> many interesting trading opportunities here above the 50. let's jump to the british pound usd so always a nice interesting situation even though the the situation is different from the previous one okay we got a rally here and the price retracing and the hanging between the 50 and the 200 ma so the price is stuck between the 36 and 35 level let's we'll see what will happen if we will uh, rebound and go up or uh, just break through the uh, 35 level approaching the 200 ma always uh, look on the left we got a very important price structure here uh, if you are in mind okay to open a short position Take a look at this price structure around the 113 and uh, 127. So, always take a closer look at the chart. If the price break through the um, 36 level here, just above this previous candle, it's going to be interesting to open a long position. Of course, this is not uh, financial advice. Uh, it's what will I I will do with my strategies okay so uh, that's it for this video leave a comment below let you, let me know what you think about uh, the pairs we just analyzed uh, let me know which pairs you trade and uh, if you want to have uh, other kind of videos like on the other pairs the miners and uh, the exotics or uh, or other assets you know so for today is everything, see you soon, bye bye.